What if I told you that the key to eternal life might already be within our grasp? That the human body, the same body that ages and withers over decades, could one day be made ageless? Science is closer than ever to unraveling the secrets of mortality. And in this video, we'll dive into the latest discoveries, the boldest experiments, and the most radical ideas about how we might cheat death. But before we explore the future, Let's take a look back at the story of human life itself. For most of history, the average human lived a short, harsh life. In prehistoric times, making it to 30 years old was a miracle. Ancient civilizations improved survival slightly, but disease, famine, and war kept lifespans painfully short. Even in the 1800s, life expectancy hovered around 40. Then everything changed. Vaccines, antibiotics, and improved hygiene extended lifespans dramatically. By the 20th century, humans began living into their 70s and 80s as a norm, a feat that would have seemed impossible to our ancestors. But despite these advancements, humans remained bound by a limit. The oldest verified person, Jean Kalman, lived to 122 years, a record that hasn't been broken since her death in 1997. Why can't we go further? Is 120 the natural limit of the human body, or is it a barrier we're about to break? The secret lies in our cells. Each cell in your body has a built-in timer, telomeres. These protective caps on the ends of your chromosomes shorten every time a cell divides. When they're gone, the cell stops working properly and aging begins. Scientists believe this is one of the main reasons we age. But what if we could stop telomeres from shortening, or even rebuild them? That's exactly what researchers are trying to do. In recent years, experiments with mice have shown that it's possible to extend lifespan by manipulating telomeres and repairing DNA damage. Some mice have lived up to 30% longer thanks to these interventions. While we're far from applying this technology to humans, the results are promising. Imagine a world where your body never wears out, where you don't just live longer, but stay youthful. But that's just one approach. Other researchers are focused on removing the waste our cells accumulate over time. As we age, damaged cells that no longer function, known as zombie cells, build up in our bodies. These cells release harmful chemicals, damaging nearby tissues and accelerating the aging process. Drugs called senolytics are being developed to eliminate these zombie cells potentially reversing age-related diseases and extending healthy lifespans. And then there's organ replacement. In labs around the world, scientists are growing human organs from scratch. Using stem cells and 3D printing, they've created functional heart tissue, kidneys, and even lungs. These breakthroughs mean we're on the verge of being able to replace worn-out organs like we replace parts in a car. In the future, someone with a failing heart won't have to wait for a donor they'll simply have a new heart grown specifically for them. The possibilities don't stop there. What if we didn't need our biological bodies at all? Some futurists believe the path to immortality lies in merging with machines. This isn't just science fiction. Technologies like brain-computer interfaces are already allowing paralyzed individuals to control prosthetics with their minds. Could this be the first step toward uploading our consciousness into a digital format? If successful, Mind uploading could allow humans to live indefinitely in a virtual world, or even inhabit robotic bodies. But this raises profound questions. If your mind is copied and uploaded, is it still you, or just a digital replica? Another controversial idea is cryonics, freezing the body after death with the hope of revival in the future. Hundreds of people have already undergone this procedure, betting that future technology will be advanced enough to reverse death. While no one has yet been successfully revived, cryonics represents humanity's relentless pursuit of immortality. But with all these advancements come ethical dilemmas. If we conquer aging, who gets access to these technologies? Will it be a privilege reserved for the wealthy, creating a world where the rich live forever while the poor are left behind? And what happens to society when no one dies? Overpopulation, resource scarcity, and societal stagnation could become new challenges in a world without mortality. Then there's the philosophical question. 
would living forever truly make us happy? Many argue that life's meaning comes from its impermanence. Knowing that our time is limited pushes us to love, to create, to leave a legacy. Without death, would life lose its urgency? Would eternal existence dull our appreciation for the fleeting beauty of a sunset or the joy of a shared moment with loved ones? Science has brought us closer than ever to answering the question of whether we can live forever. From telomere research to mind uploading, the possibilities are endless. But as we stand on the brink of these breakthroughs, perhaps the most important question isn't can we live forever, but should we? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more explorations of life's biggest mysteries. See you next time.